Yeah, my name is Jonathan King. Um, I'm the co-founder of the Black Alumni Network and Expo, um, partner with uh, Network DC, um, and uh, founder of King Promo Events. It was like, uh, and within the society, it was like you have to, um, at a certain point, it was like, you know, we know we have to keep control of the society, so it was like, you know, the only way that we can do that is you put them in debt. Like, that's like the new, you know, the new form of racism, even though racism is coming at us, right? But we keep doing that, right? So, one of the biggest, one of the biggest ways people saying that was school loans, right? Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I was born in Brooklyn. I was born in Brooklyn, New York in, in 1988. So um, the last of the 80s and, and you know early 90s, I spent a lot of my years in Brooklyn. And um, a, a lot was really experienced at a very early age. In New York, you, you have to grow up so fast because you're around um, so many dangerous things. So you have to be aware of what's going on. Um, and I really hold strong to that still to this day. Norfolk State was a, a beautiful situation because it, it embodies so many unique personalities of people in one atmosphere, and we're all black and we're all meshed, you know what I mean, in this, in this one place. And um, it was a shell shock to me at first because, you know, where I come from, I was the man, you know what I mean, in Hampton, and I had throwing events and all this. And you come to an area like Norfolk State and everybody is somebody from their different atmosphere. So it, it kind of humbles you. You know, I think, you know, that and then um, it kind of forces you to really see how the real world is. Like, because you have to really network with people. You really have to um, build with people. You really have to learn from different people and different experiences. So, um, you know, Norfolk State really just showed me that, you know, I have a community that that backs me. You know, it's like, it's like my backbone right now when it comes to a lot of things that I do from the, the teachers that I still communicate with to... Um, the uh, the students that still support me, my friends, you know, there's just so many so many great things that happened while I was there, um, and so many change agents that I met there, and so many people that I got to build with there. It was just an amazing experience. Um, events, events has really been in my background. My mom is, my mom really got me into events. So she actually, you know, created, um, she helped us create our, formulate our first company called Hampton's Finest. Um, that was back in 2004. It was my first company. I was in high school. Um, we were, and we were doing thousands of people, you know, in, um, you know, in high school, which was kind of rare at that time. We didn't really know what we were doing and how, how big of an impact we were doing it at, but um, my first gig was uh, Allen Iverson's um, Celebrity All-Star Weekend that he came back to, I um, just want to make sure I'm going the right way, he can, He comes back to Hampton, Virginia, uh, which I, you know, I grew up at, um, and, um, and my mom was kind of like one of the event coordinators, logistics person of that event, and, and she was like, yo, you, you coming with me, you know, so... You know, and I used to just be out there with her and, and I'll help her and organize the weekend and, you know, make sure things are in place. And, um, you know, that was like one of my first tastes of being a part of something and not getting paid for it and seeing like how much of a great feeling it, it was to do something meaningful for the community and meaningful using um, events, but um, but not really, you know, not really, you know, getting paid. Like, it wasn't really a value of money. As I look back, like I'm, I probably wouldn't even think I would own an expo like this big, but um, it, it really or, it was an organic thing, you know what I mean? It was just um, it's like me and my friends, um, we were all into the event space and the event. We were always going party, so 
you know, at, at a certain point, I've been throwing parties since I was 15, so at a certain point, I was like, man, you know, inside, it was like, I've done this, and it's not changing anything, it's just throwing a party, so I knew I wanted to be a part of something that's a little bit different than just, you know, throwing a party and trying to make money off of it, um, so the opportunity came, and I was actually planning a, an alumni, um, a young alumni weekend, and then another one of my partners had an idea of doing um, like an expo. So um, we just kind of like organically created a whole weekend. But it started back in 2014 when I met um, I met Jared Walker, and um, I was uh, real close to my the other partner. Um, not was, but still close. Um, I was real good friends with um, Carson Bird. So uh, Carson. Um, connecting with Jared, all three of us got together, all three of us had events, and had event background, and um, we started like, you know, this Network DC thing, and then, um, you know, as we were building Network DC thing, we did a day party, and then the next thing you know, it was like, like, let's just do a, you know, let's just do this, this expo, and um, it, it, the purpose was, was it initially was just connecting HBCU alumni and um, PWI alumni together, because it was a, it was a real, like back in 2012, 2013, when we first got to the city, it was a real, like, you know, disengaging um, of, of HBC alumni and, and PWI, PWI alumni that connected. It was like everybody was really just clicked up into their own, you know, into their own communities. You know what I mean? I went to, you know, Women Mary, I went to you Nova know, State, I went to this, I went to that, and we kind of just wanted to kind of create a different environment to kind of show, like, all of us are black alumni all of us need to connect and build um, you know I talk about I talk about sacrifice it's crazy I, I posted something the other day and it was like you know nothing is gonna change um, in personal circumstances or worldly circumstances without sacrifice you know what we've seen previous leaders do um, they sacrifice their life they sacrifice their time they sacrifice their energy so one of the, the main thing I can speak directly about about is is one being able to sacrifice years and energy and time um, of, of, of that I could have put elsewhere to see the betterment of black people connecting. So just to hear people say, wow, that panel was empowering. Wow, I got motivated. Or oh, wow, I, I found my new business partner um, You know, at the expo. Or oh, wow, oh, this, this event is so meaningful. I think those those compliments are kind of like one of the biggest, you know, what I mean, and, and and most grateful things I hold dear to my heart in regards to, you know, um, what we previously done and what we're doing now with the expo. I've been making some dynamic connections throughout the expo, throughout the process of me learning who I am, um, throughout the process of me growing in the event world, the branding world. So really, just cross branding, um, creating new relationships, uh, taking the expo to different markets. So really, you know, really came to see that the expo was needed everywhere. So really, you know, we're working on New York, working on Charlotte, working on Houston, um, expanding the Black Alumni Ball as well. So we're looking at taking the Black Alumni Ball to a few different markets. Um, really creating, you know, a fund that allows us to put our, put our dollars, you know what I mean, where, where our mouth is, so we're able to invest into, um, you know, different things outside of just the events, you know, it's like taking that money and actually investing in the property, taking that money and investing into our community. Um, so, I mean, w with with those three things and, and really building out my, you know, I mean, my personal marketing and branding portfolio. So starting to take on more clients as I build out, um, you know, as I build out my brand, um, taking on more clients, looking at how I can um, create new avenues and streams of money for them, um, seeing how I can create brands that allow them to uh, grow their personal brand or, you know, their clothing line or whatever the case is. Um, so personally, that's pretty much what I'm working on. Um, and then, you know, with my companies, um, A King's Vision um, is my main company. Building that out uh, and really pushing out the Black Alumni Ball Expo, Not Your Typical Homecoming, which is one of my biggest properties that I have. Um, so really, next is really kind of creating, you know, really... I would say maintaining these brands is one thing, but also growing them and actually getting more so in the corporate arena with these. Uh, so actually, you know, going after sponsorships more, 
utilizing the, the market that I have to actually do cross-branding um, opportunities for small businesses and different corporations uh, with all the brands that I have. So just really leveraging it, um, growing it, um, and taking the world by storm, to be honest with you. You know, there's, it ain't too many of us connecting black people together like, like I know I can, like, like I've showcased. And, um, and like, like my partners and all of us have showcased. So really just honing on that, like we as a community can, can do great things, big things, if we kind of like stick together, man. And we just like, you know, we connect with each other like you, man. You know what I mean? Like just like what we're doing now. It's like, you know what I mean? Using each other as, as outlets for, for, for what we want to push. Um, so I mean, it's just it's beautiful, man. Like what's going on right now um, in, the, in the wake of everything that's negative, we have a lot of positive that we can kind of feed on too, you know?